Hey, how's it going, everybody? Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and please watch the entire video to really get a great sense of what the heck is going on here. Of course, if you're someone who just doesn't know anything about crypto or anything like that, this might be the best video to watch. And I remember to watch the entire thing to really get a great sense of what's going on. So Trump's win and the cryptocurrency, what that could mean for Bitcoin and crypto markets. Of course, Trump really promised um, a big boom in uh, in Bitcoin and really, you know, tried to reach out to a lot of people uh, that loved Bitcoin. Like he went to a lot of, I believe he went to a Bitcoin conference when he was uh, running. And so this really is a gigantic uh, shred of optimism here. If you're someone who wants to invest in Bitcoin, uh, wants to mine Bitcoin, or is just a, a simple holder of Bitcoin here. So Bitcoin surged to a, a new record high of November 6th, of course, riding a wave of optimism from investors who view um, the president's win as a boost for the crypto market. So in early trading, Bitcoin shot up 8%, notching a fresh all-time high over $75,000, absolutely shattering its previous record from March. The cryptocurrency held on to most of its gains, reaching a new record high by late afternoon Wednesday when it topped over $76,000. That's something you really need to take a look at, too. You know, if... Look, I always say if there's something that's going to happen to the market and you're, you know, you're well aware of certain policies from the president or the, um, or I should say just some things that he ran on or some things that she ran on, you need to really like understand that there could, there, look, if you, if you would have known potentially, um, a lot of what happened back in 2016 with the last election that he got in, then you would be doing really well right now. That's basically the point I was trying to make. <laughs> okay, let's just put it let's just put it that way. But back to um, the Bitcoin Act and what the heck is going on here. So, okay, other than major cur uh, cryptocurrencies joined in the rally, including Ethereum, the second largest digital currency, which jumped eight percent from Tuesday night through Wednesday morning, um, before gaining another eight point five percent from Wednesday morning through Thursday afternoon. Dogecoin. Um, spiked as much as 29%. So the crypto market, not just Bitcoin, but the entire Bitcoin market, essentially, at least the big, the major players really got a nice boost. So uh, Trump's stance on deregulation, tax cuts, and a shift away from centralized financial institutions like the Federal Reserve has crypto enthusiasts seeing opportunities. Many believe his support for these risks, uh, for these assets fueled the recent crypto rally. So what can crypto investors expect during a, tr a second presidency from Donald? Um, so he, again, he embraced cryptocurrency ahead of the election, right? So he once voiced skeptic skepticism about cryptocurrency, spent much of 2024 positioning himself as a, cr a pro-crypto presidential candidate. So... There's a lot of things that Trump can do when he gets into office with cryptocurrency, not just Bitcoin, of course, but with a lot of other crypto uh, currencies. Um, so during his presidency, the Trump administration's uh, regulatory actions include the SEC's controversial law, lawsuit against Ripple. But he changes to 2024, aiming to win over a block of single issue voters and perhaps more crucially, big ticket donors in the cryptocurrency world. So. He campaigned, uh, uh, his campaign, I should say, accepted Bitcoin donations throughout the race. And in September, Trump uh, made headlines after uh, paying a meal at the New York City Tavern in Bitcoin. So his vice presidential uh, running mate, and J.D. Vance, is also a longtime crypto advocate. So it's not just him, it's also uh, J.D. Vance as well. And um, <clears throat> so here is his proposed crypto policies. So as of the Bitcoin uh, 2024 conference in Nashville, he detailed a set of crypto-friendly policies. He also named Bitcoin prices, which uh, would soar under his administration. So he created a government stockpile of Bitcoin. So during his uh, conference, he noted that the administration would keep 100% of all the Bitcoin the U.S. government currently holds 
requires in the future, adding that the digital uh, currency would add as the core of the strategic um, national Bitcoin stockpile. It is estimated that the U.S. government holds more than $5 billion worth of Bitcoin as of 2023. Largest seized from criminal investigations. However, it's unclear what the stockpile would be used for, whether it's realistic or if it's even welcome in probably the broader crypto industry. Um, create a crypto advisory council, which is what he could possibly do in Nashville. He proposed launching a group called the Bitcoin and Crypto Presidential Advisory Council, which would have rules written by people who love your industry, not hate your industry, as he uh, quoted here, quote unquote. So block the Federal Reserve from creating its own digital currency that he proposed. Central digital currencies known as uh, CBTCs are a growing trend around the rest of the world, but the idea has received significant pushback from the U.S. crypto verse. The Fed hasn't decide, decided whether to make a fil- fully digital version of the U.S. dollar, though it is. Um, it did release a long-awaited report in January 2022 detailing the potential costs and benefits. So he's spoken out against the idea multiple times in 2024, including at a January campaign rally in uh, New Hampshire, where he called it a dangerous threat to freedom. Now, in May, the House passed a bill that would uh, bar the Federal Reserve from creating a CBDC. So what it might actually mean is, unsurprisingly, many experts in the cryptocurrency world are optimistic about his upcoming return to the White House. So, you know, there are... There are many here. So the bottom line is his embrace of crypto digital currency may prove favorable for investors and industry leaders who um, COVID loser, uh, looser regulations, I should say, but ethical concerns over the recent launch of this cryptocurrency uh, project, World Liberty Financial, are likely to intensify after Trump takes office. So this is according to bankrate.com. So. What do you guys think? Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more. I, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people believe that his win um, will be really great for crypto markets. And really just him winning, actually, of course, boosted, um, you know, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, you know, and so many other cryptos, as we have mentioned in this video. Um, it's only fair to to believe this just by him getting into office in the first place. But it really just uh, it really just depends on whether or not he follows through with a lot of his campaign promises. And so there are a lot of pretty much unopened question un you know, unanswered questions when it comes to this, of course. But again, I just want to hear what everybody thinks out there. So thank you so much for watching everybody and hopefully I will see you in the next video.